Well, guys, check this video out. It blew in yesterday and last night. And now, after you watch that, we're going to go check and see what the tomatoes look like in the high tunnel. I hadn't seen them yet. Holy moly. Interested to see what happens, guys. <sighs> freezing wind is still going strong this morning guys it's 19 degrees i can't imagine what the wind chill is so it's still pretty cold here the high tunnel got down to 26 last night and yep Looky there. So I picked, guys, almost 50 pounds yesterday of tomatoes. And I'm glad I did. Because, uh, <laughs> boy, did these go. But, just want to say that uh, we had tomatoes, guys, for 12 months this year. So we got to grow tomatoes for four seasons. Let's look at my greens. So my shard looks like it. Took a little bit of a hit, but my kale looks okay. My greens are looking, honestly guys, they're looking pretty good. <sighs> dun, 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 dun. So these were some sweet potato vines, and I'm glad I got what I got yesterday. These took it, but looky here. These might be okay. So this, uh, yeah, I think this Arroyo Campolo is probably going to go. Spinach is looking okay. These are some of my flowers. This is the calendula. Honestly, it looks like it's all right. We'll see as the day progresses. Sometimes you don't see freeze damage right away. But you can see. These will have to be pulled up this week. Broccoli and everything's looking okay. That kale over there is looking a little weepy, but I think it'll rebound. You can still hear that wind, guys. It is blowing. It was 18 degrees this morning. I think my carrots are going to be all right. It was 18 degrees this morning with a wind chill of 6 is what they said. Um, and that's kind of in town. I think that um, it was probably a little colder out right here because we really don't have any wind breaks. But bye-bye, tomatoes. You were good to us, and we are so thankful we had you as long as we did. Let's check on the stuff outside. First, I wanted to come into this one because I do have some onions, and my turnips started coming up. Let's see what's going on in here. Huh? yeah. We'll be watching these onions this week. They might be okay. They might not. And if they're not, i got more up there I can plant. But we did water everything down really good. I think the turnips are okay. I'm not seeing any beets come up yet. By the way, Aaron and Kristen, love it, love it, love it. So we had some friends come out yesterday, and they did pick quite a bit of the spinach, and I'm so glad. I don't know if this is going to rebound. It's looking very weepy as well. 
And then these broccoli plants over here, guys. Whew. Bitter, bitter. This cold spell is going to continue for a couple of days. We're going to warm up briefly, and then it's going to hit us again this weekend. Um, I think my kale will be all right, but uh, this broccoli is probably going to need to come up. So back up here on the back porch, Greg wiggle wired some plastic around it and we have our handy dandy stove down here that's keeping us warm up here and um, I've got some plants right there that I moved so I think those are going to be okay. Guys, <laughs> man this is the first big blast of the season. Looks like January is going to be cold for the next couple of weeks. We'll see how it continues and if it looks like we're going to uh, follow a path a similar path that we did in February last year so anyway wanted to give you guys an update stay tuned got lots more videos coming up be sure and hit that subscribe button so you can follow along with us as we replant and uh, get ready for our spring garden God bless take care